Inside Kate Middleton, Prince Williams is weak from hell. They have had three big, huge blows in the past week, yet Prince William and Middleton have hidden their anguish and stepped out in public. Being a member of the British royal family comes with plenty of perks. Small children are perpetually thrusting bouquets of flowers at you. Enter adulthood and you'll be given a stately pile to call your own and access Buckingham Palace's vast underground wine cellar which contains 3.5 million worth of excellent plonk. This week, perhaps for the first time in Windsor history, a bag full of fresh bagels from London's famous beagle, Bake Brick Lane Bakery, got added to that list. With the northern summer winding down, it was time for William and Kate, Duchess and Duke of Cambridge to get back to work. After all, there is no rest for the wicked or anyone who is shackled to the exigencies of the Sovereign Grand, the first item on the couple's agenda this week was to try their hand at bagel making at the bakery and visiting a job centre and a mosque in the city's east to hear how they have been faring during the pandemic. This outing was straight out of the Cambridge's greatest hit files, Kate Vaux, a pretty and demure frock. Her trademark bouncy blow dry proof of what a lot of money and time can achieve while William put on his best listening face and did some excellent nodding. They smiled and wore face masks and were even caught by the attendant press sharing a personal moment when they're caught smiling at each other. And yet, despite this textbook perfect engagement to mark their return to work, if you look beyond their smile, this was a rubbish week for the Cambridges. To start w with, there was Prince Harry's 36th birthday on Tuesday. The Kensington Palace, Clarence House and Buckingham Palace social media teams all dutifully rolled out a series of warm posts about the Duke of Sussex stuffing them with emojis and plenty of feel-good images of the prince. After a year of seismic upheaval and intra-family scrabbling and rivalry dominating press coverage, there was a generally tender moment to try and repair their image, but of course it didn't turn out that way. Social media commentators were quick to point out that Harry's his wife, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, was not in any of the images, interpreting her omission as far from subtle slide on the part of various royal households. The story went global and for 24 hours Meghan's exclusion was subject of frenzied discussion. A quick but important side note here. There was absolutely nothing sinister in the fact that the three lots of official royal birthday wishes for Harry didn't feature Meghan. Traditionally on a birthday each royal house primarily shares images that highlight the ties between the Duke and Duchess in question with that house's principal. For example, the vast majority of the images shared to mark Williams's birthday this year were of him with the Queen or Prince Charles for Kate's birthday. The photo gallery shared by the Buckingham Palace account included to no images of William. However, the very fact that there was such a media storm erroneously or not served to illustrate a much bigger point, which is that despite having set up shop on the US West Coast, a good 8,750 kilometers away from London, Harry and Meghan, psychodrama will continue to loom over the palace. The reality is, no matter how hard William and Kate work, no matter how impeccable their performances, the couple faces having to live in the perpetual shadow cast by Harry and Meghan's California coat. In short, the Cambridge's dull consciousness in contrast to the far more gripping and twisty turny Sussex storyline means they will perpetually come in second in the public interest stakes.